always a ton of fun to find a new trail. You know, I ride a lot in Utah and Idaho, teeny, teeny little bit in Arizona. And, you know, if you know where to look and you know who to ask and you're always just keeping your eyes open, you can find new stuff like all the time. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of fun with this um, off camber side hilling stuff. Got to keep your balance and maintain, you know, the wheel on the trail and not drop it off. That wasn't like an incredibly tricky section or anything right there. Some of the stuff that I've seen. You know, in the summers up in Idaho, it can be that way. Really challenging. I just love the, I really love like the diversity of terrain and trails that I'm able to ride here in the Western US. From some of the most amazing Alpine single track kind of like what you're seeing here and then out to the like vast desert some of it being super fast and flowing and then others like really nasty technical tough going stuff and I, I just love that I love the ability within you know a six hour radius from where I I ride my radius has kind of expanded to about an eight hour uh, one way radius of the trails that I you know ride and it takes some driving you've got you've got to be willing to do some real driving you know to make it to these places but you know you just plan it out and it's so worth it so worth it and this bike right now, oh my gosh, it is running absolutely freaking incredible. I keep saying it, but this 22 TPI is the smoothest running, best running 300 motor I've ever been on. Power for days doesn't vibrate at all. It's just, it's a dream, dude. Total dream. I just love the 
feeling that I get when I'm up here. And I don't really know why it happens, like where it comes from. But the amount of like peace and connectedness that I get up here when I'm in the mountains, mountains, it's kind of unprecedented. And it's sort of my favorite thing, if you know what I mean. And these bikes, I mean, they're just like the vehicles that take me into the places that give me that high and that recharge. And I'm in love with them. I love being able to just, I believe I'm in second gear. And I love being able, being able to just kind of, you know, pull the clutch. I've always got my finger on the clutch. Well, most always. I can't say always, but most of the time, especially in a, sit in a situation like this, I've got one finger on the clutch, one finger on the brake. Um, and now I'm feathering the front and rear brake to go down these things. And, uh, yeah, and I'll feather that clutch so that I can go into one of these corners and they go and kind of ride the clutch out of it on the other side. Store up that, you know, energy in the flywheel there. Oh man, that, those pine trees. Oh man, I wish I could, wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now, guys. See that, that's a, that's a situation there, and I'll grab third. That's a situation where I was like on the clutch a bit to go through that corner, drop back down to second. 